Howdy guys, Indy Pixel here. And in this series of videos, I wanted to show a tool that I built um, a while back. And the reason why I built this particular tool is because I was tired of having to set up uh, my, my project folder structure over and over and over again and try to keep it consistent between all the projects and really trying to maintain a consistency between your Unity projects. Um, it's a good thing because then when you're going back and forth between lots of different um, games that you're developing or applications that you're developing, the project folders are the same, so it's a lot faster and easier to find things. And so basically, um, I have this uh, little framework here that I've been you know, building over the years, and it includes just a lot of um, tools and um, code and stuff like that that I use over and over and over again. And um, what I wanted to show, though, was the uh, project helper script. So in this video, we're going to rebuild this particular script. And this script, what it does is it allows us to go and create the project folders for a new Unity game. So in this instance, if I have a new project that I'm working on, um, I open up a fresh new Unity project here, and then I import the IndiePixel framework, and then I just go and set up the folder structures for that particular project by typing in the, the name of the project and then hitting create folder structure. And what that does is it creates a project folder structure that I've been using a lot um, over the last few years. And it's really useful and efficient and it keeps everything organized. And now that I have the tool, all my Unity projects share the same setup. So it's very, very beneficial to um, start to get into the habit of writing these little utilities that just speed up your workflow. So let's go and actually build this so you guys can see how it works. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder and I'm just going to call this something like my tools for now. You can call it whatever, uh, but it's a good idea to store all your tools inside of some sort of parent root directory. And then I'm going to go create another uh, folder and call this the project setup tool like so. And inside of this particular folder, I'm going to create that new script. Uh, and what I need to do is actually uh, put this all inside of an editor folder. So the editor tool will actually work. So we'll do editor and then we'll actually nest this guy inside of there like so. So now that'll completely work. So what I need to make this fully functional is two scripts. So the first script is going to be a C sharp script, and I'm just going to call this um, project uh, setup window. All right, and then I'm going to make a, another script outside of that particular folder, and I'm just going to call this not a new folder, sorry. I want a, a new script. So we'll go create a new C sharp script, and we'll just call this uh, editor menus for now. Okay. So what I want to do is pop those two guys open. So I'm just going to launch the Windows script first and then launch the editor menus script. And my goal right now is to just get an editor window up and rolling. So if you're new to editor tools, this will probably be you know interesting to you. If you know how to do it, then awesome. Uh, so what I want to do here is um, get rid of the start and update functions because we won't need those. And this doesn't need to be a mounted behavior because all we're going to do with this particular script is house all the menus that we create. So um, I also need to make sure that I'm using the Unity Editor namespace. All right, so let's hop back into Unity over here. So all these menus are stored in a single script. At least that's how I've gone and architected the IndiePixel framework. All right, and that, that just makes it easy for me to go and find where all the menus are uh, for all these particular editor tools that I have. Um, so that's why I do that, if you're wondering. So the first thing I want to do is create a new um, menu item. And this menu item is going to live anywhere you want, really. Uh, if you are posting on the asset store, you have to put it in um, one of the existing, I believe it's still the rule, one of the existing uh, menus. But I'll just, I'll just uh, create another menu because this is only for my consumption, not for the asset store. So I'm just going to call this uh, my tools and we will say um, project 
and then we'll call this the project uh, setup tool. And this will allow me then to um, create a static function here that uh, gets called when this particular menu item is clicked on. So we'll say uh, init project setup tool. All right. So I also need to put in the uh, parentheses. There we go. All right. So now we can go back to Unity over here. And we should get a menu up here called My Tools and Project, Project Setup Tools. So you can, we can verify that that works by just putting in like a debug log. We'll say launching project setup tool. All right. So now in the console, we should get a log. There we go. Cool. So that's all working. So let's go and set up the project setup window so we can actually see it. Um, so again, I'm going to need the Unity editor namespace because we're creating editor tools. And what I like to do is um, put these all of my tools inside of a, a namespace. So you can see here I have the other scripts open and I basically have them under a namespace. And the reason why I do this is that, so it doesn't uh, clash with any other classes that are in another namespace. This way I can use all my own names and stuff like that. It does help you keep your code organized as well. So uh, I'm just going to call this the my tools namespace. I know that's not very descriptive, but you know, for the video's sake, uh, it'll work for now. And I want to put the menus under that same namespace. Cool. All right, so we're getting things built up. So let's go and um, get the window actually rolling. So in order to do this, uh, we need to make it extend or inherit from the editor window class. That way we get all that functionality. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is set up some regions. So just do that. And I just do that for my own organizational reasons. Helps me see the code faster. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is set up a, a static um, variable that is of type project setup window. All right. And we'll just call this the, the win. Now, you don't have to do that, uh, but it'll give you access. If you start building a lot of other tools, you can shut down other windows you know, from other tools uh, if you can grab the static instance here. All right, so what we need to do now is create a public um, a static void uh, init window method. And the reason why we're doing this is because now we can call this because it's public and it's static. All right. We can call this from this particular menu item now. So I can say project uh, setup window dot init window. All right. And we're almost there. We'll almost get a window actually created. So in order to do that, uh, what we want to do is we want to say that the win is equal to an editor window um, dot get window. And the type is going to be the project setup window. And you can see that we have a bunch of options in here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the title for now. And I'm just going to call this a project setup. So this is going to be the uh, string that you see at the top of the, the window. It gives you a little bit more information about what that particular window is doing. And then finally, we just need to say win.show. All right, so we get the static instance right here, and we show the window. And that'll actually get a, a window popped up. But if we wanted to place some UI in it, we need to do the void uh, on GUI method. And in this, what we could do is, you know, for now, while we're testing this out, is actually just do um, an editor GUI to layout dot label. All right, and we could just say, uh, project setup, something like that. Cool. That'll just give us something to see. So let's see if everything worked out. All right, no errors. So let's go project, project setup tool. And voila, we have a window. All right. So there's lots of things you can do at this point. Um, 
but we're going to just focus on obviously setting up our project folder. So we're going to walk through and learn how to create directories and add new files to it. Just really get a project set up, you know, at its bare bones. That way all your projects um, have a consistency level that makes things easier and more efficient. All right. So I'm going to leave this video at this point and in the next video, we're going to start to get some functionality hooked up so we can start creating some folders. Thanks so much. Thank you.